Hello and welcome back to another video and today we've made one very small change to the English Premier League and that is that every single player has got a zero pound release clause. So let's go have a look at some. If we go to Liverpool, my team, let's go pick Jordan Henderson and have a look at his contract. Minimum fee release clause, zero pound. So he could be bought for absolutely nothing. If we go to Chelsea, let's go to Jorginho contract and he's got a zero pound release clause let's go to man city where's erling Haaland? there he is key player contract zero pound release clause. so every single player has got a zero pound release clause in their contract so you can see values of the players every single player has got zero and this is applying to every single player in the premier league if they buy someone they're going to have a zero pound release clause put into the contract Every single player that comes in to the Premier League is going to have a zero pound release clause. So I cannot wait to sim through five, six, seven seasons. Let's go see how far we can get and see just what's going to happen. I'm anticipating transfer craziness, teams going up, teams going down that you just would not expect. There's going to be some really cool things going off in this experiment. Comment down below what do you think is going to happen, what players are going to stay, what players are going to leave. This is the real test of Premier League loyalty here. Are teams going to be loyal to their players? Are players going to be loyal to their teams? Are they going to be jumping ship every season just to see where they can go? As everything is free, everyone is free. It doesn't cost them a penny to move. So let's go sim forward a few seasons and see what happens. So here we are. We have sim forward six seasons and we're going to go have a look, browse around the teams, see what teams have got loads of players still left in, what teams have disappeared completely, where the players have gone. I'm really excited to have a look at this one. So we've gone six seasons forward and let's start by having a look at the past winners and see who's won what. So if we go back to 21-22 where City won, then 22-23, so the first one, Liverpool won the first season, then City, then Chelsea, Liverpool twice and then Man City. So I'd say generally football manager, Liverpool and City share the title, so there's not really many massive upsets there. Chelsea popping in with a league title doesn't often happen when I'm playing saves. So I think fair play to Chelsea for grabbing one there. Maybe they've done some really good work in the transfer market. And I think that's where we're going to start. Let's go see Chelsea's current squad. So captain is still Jorginho. Sterling is still those vice captain and Kai Havertz. They've not lost any major top players then. So let's go have a look at their squad. George up front. Who is George? He's a 22-year-old attacking midfielder. Tyree Joseph. He's a new player that is coming. Fair enough. Dio oh, Jota. Okay, so Jota has gone from... Oh, Jota has jumped around loads. Okay, so Jota went from Liverpool, joined City, and then from City two years later went to Chelsea and has won the league with Chelsea. Wow. So there you go. Or did he actually win the league? Or did he go just after they won the league? I'm not entirely sure what year it was they won the league. But he's had a nice jump around. So that's an interesting one. Mason Mount still at Chelsea. Sterling still there. Dest has come in. Okay, so they've bought Sergino Dest on a free from Everton. Uh, so Everton got him from Napoli on the cheap after he went to Napoli from Barcelona. And then he, so his value is not high at all for those kind of transfers. I'm shocked. But yeah, anyway, let's go and move on and see who else. Any other Premier League players that have moved around? I can't see a lot there. If we go have a look at their transfer history and see anything major going on, obviously all these players could still leave. So Ruben loftus cheat went on loan. Let's go to the free transfers and see anything major. Aubameyang went to Union Berlin. All the other ones, young players disappearing, we're not too interested by. They brought in Dalot from Man U, Alvarez from Man City on loan, Coutinho from Villa, who's, all these players must have obviously left again as well, Kanji from City, but then they've all moved straight on, so there is quite a lot of movement going on. Cucurella went to Barcelona, Kante went to, oh, Kante went to City, wow, okay, let's go have a look at City's team next, I reckon. Xavier Simons went to West Ham. Obviously, all of these on free transfers, aren't they? Which is just incredible. Dalot, yeah, went to Benfica. So he went in and then straight back out the next season. Obviously, where is he now? He's now at Marseille. So Benfica got, got him on a free, sold him for £62 million. Magnificent deals there for them. Pulisic went to Newcastle on loan this season. Chukwemeka went to Burnley on loan. Okay, let's go have a look at City, because yeah, look, they brought in Jota from City there, they brought in Romero from Tottenham, they spent £10 million on in Musiala from Bayern Munich for £87 million. So, let's go have a look at City's team then. Let's go to their main squad, Tactics. For Farn up front, Foden, Pino, Nikili, Rodri, Laporte, Diaz, Cucurella, Pavard and Edison. So, Cucurella's been around the block a little bit. He went from, where was he, Brighton, Chelsea, bought him for £60 million. 
Barcelona on a free, Liverpool bought him for 30 million, and then he went, he's had a nice little move around. Look at that. Free transfers, he's making these players move from club to club so much more. Phil Foden, obviously, has he stayed loyal the whole time? Yes, he has. He's not gone anywhere and gone back. Kante, so Kante still at City. Been at City since pretty much the start of the second season of the experiment. And then stayed loyal to City, been a pretty much first team player for City, or as first team as he can get there. Oh, Smith Rowe has gone from Arsenal. How long has he been? Yeah, Arsenal on a free, a couple of seasons in. And I think I just saw Ericsson as well. Ericsson is still playing, 36 years old. Still going free to Chelsea and then from Chelsea to Man City. Look at those free transfers for Ericsson. Unbelievable. What a player. So there you go. That's the City team. And then we go over look at anyone else. Rico Lewis is still there. Edward Mendy has gone from Chelsea to City as well. City have bought a fair few Chelsea players here. Unbelievable. Jack Grealish still there. So let's go see another club. If we go to, let's go back to Premier League. Who won the Premier League motion? That was Chelsea, wasn't it? Man City, Liverpool, we've had a look at. Let's go have a look at Man U. We've not had a look at Man U yet. So, captain is Marcus Rashford, Dean Henderson, vice captain, Jamie. Oh, so they've got some new gen players in their team. So, starting with, we've got Anthony up front, Hogg. Let's go have a look at Hogg. Whoops. Hogg is a very decent player. So, when did he come in? That first season, he kind of regenerated. Few scenes at Man U training, getting ready for the first team on loan at Stoke, on loan at Burnley, and has really come into the team recently. He's a fantastic player. Fan for a few matches for being sent off, but you know, it happens. Then they've got a, another one over here, Pereira again, fantastic player. Let's go see where he arrived from. Gilles, okay, so they bought him in from Gilles Vincente, £37 million. I love to know what this is doing to all these finances. And then who else have we got here? Livramento's come in to Man U. So he was at Southampton, Arsenal, Man U. Again, move around. Movement is wild at these clubs. They are going left, right and centre. Eddie Nketiah has gone from Arsenal to Man U. When did that happen? Oh, he's been on loan to Fulham as well recently. So he's not really broken into the first team properly at Man U. Maybe it hasn't been a massive success of a move, but has definitely moved around a little bit. Wow. So I think next up, I want to have a look at the Champions League. How have the English clubs? Because... All this movement cannot be that good for team chemistry. And I'm not sure whether we'd have done very well in the Champions League. Obviously, we're going to be losing money as well. So, that's it. Holders of Roma. Roma have just won the Champions League. Past winners. Roma have just beat Man City. What is the Roma squad looking like then? Tammy Abraham, Schneiderup. Nothing, nothing ridiculous. I know, obviously, Andreas Schneiderup, he's a very good player on Football Manager comes into his own absolutely they got him on a free from Fiorentina uh Man U bought him for 8 million went on loan went on loan then obviously sold ah oh, yeah so they got him from Man U on a free massive bit of transfer business there I'd love to know how this would be to actually manage it I've not managed myself in this save if you want to see what it's like to actually manage a full season in this save let me know down below in the comments and I'll do a full season I'll manage a team we'll pick someone like Everton or someone that's bound to get relegated we'll manage them a full season see how we do but yeah, the English Cups are still hanging around. Man City are their runner-up. Liverpool won it a couple of years ago. And I've had three three runners-up in a row. Losing to Real Madrid. Chelsea won it. PSG. If we go over and look at Europa League, how have we done there? Villa. Villa have done very well. Runner-up and won it. Tottenham have been runner-up. So again, decent results. Nothing you really you wouldn't expect. Newcastle there too. What is Newcastle team looking at actually with all their money in this game? Okay, so they've they have not done they've come 14th in the Premier League. Can we go to general pass positions? So, 7th, 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 and then 4th. They've not done very well. The money obviously doesn't make that much of a difference. We're buying players. Helpful with the transfer, like the wage budget, but nothing massive. They've not got the mega team that they normally are able to build. They've got Jared Bowen on the wing. Again, I've never seen them buy him, 31 years old. Esther Pinion from Brighton, that is, isn't it? Although, wow, he's jumped around a fair bit. Brentford, PSV, and then bought for Newcastle. Pulisic, again, never seen him go to Newcastle before on a free from Chelsea, obviously. Yeah, they've really, this really hampered their progress. Newcastle, normally they're right up there in the Champions League spot. So, there you go, guys. That is what the Premier League would be like with the £0 release clause. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I'd love to go back and see how the kind of seasons have finished, just to finish off. So, Let's go back to the first season. Obviously, Liverpool won, City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Leicester, Brentford, Palace. So, Man U 10th, Tottenham 8th. Everton often get relegated. 
So maybe we'll do a season. Who came last? Brighton. We'll do a season with Brighton and see what we can do with them. Man U really struggling. Tottenham struggling. Newcastle really struggling. Next season in, Man U and Tottenham managed to get up into European places. Villa doing very well, getting Champions League in fifth. Working the way up. Villa still consistently up in European spots. I think your top four kind of... It's nice to see it's mixed all around a little bit. It's not just Liverpool or City winning every season in Football Manager with this little twist. It's Well, I say little twist. It's a big twist, really, isn't it? But it's a lot of fun twist. It's a lot of fun to see how it plays out. So there is that last season. The next season, we move on again. Pretty much your standard top six. Newcastle just says they did manage to work their way up eventually. And then on to the new season. So there you go. If you want to have a go at playing this save as well, let me know down below in the comments and I'll share the link to the I'll share the game file so you can have a go at it yourselves. But hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon.